Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of CNC Productions and today we're going to be drawing the Ankylosaurus which as you probably know was a large club-tailed dinosaur that lived in North America but before we draw it we're going to learn a little bit about the Ankylosaurus the Ankylosaurus was about the length and height of a minibus and was covered with knobbly armor such as you'd find on a crocodile's back and it wielded a large club tail at the end that could smash through bone. Uh, Ankylosaurus was tough and they needed to be tough because they had to deal with predators such as Tyrannosaurus. Although few predators would probably try to attack anything that looked like Ankylosaurus. Ankylosaurus lived in what's now Western North America, and it gives its name to the entire Ankylosaur group, which is far more widespread. Ankylosaur fossils have actually been found on every single continent except Africa. They've even been found on Antarctica, with creatures like Antarctopelta. Ankylosaur fossils tend to be found alone, suggesting that they were not herding animals. They graze slowly on vegetation, and were not overly blessed with brain power. For this reason, they are sometimes dubbed as the cows of the dinosaur age albeit much more armored than cows. Ankylosaurus weighed about 2.9 tons, as much as five uh, family cars. Uh, fossils of Ankylosaurus have been found in Mon Montana, Wyoming, and Alberta, Canada. They were also the largest of the Ankylosaur group. All right, and now that we've learned a little bit about the Ankylosaurus, now we can get to drawing it. Now the Ankylosaurus had kind of a short, uh, short head. And it's also kind of rounded like that. Let me draw the neck. Which was thick. And Gylosaurus was a very large animal, so... Make sure the back is wide. Make sure you draw their feet very large. Because they were kind of squat and tanky. Now if you want to, and I'm going to do this with mine, you can draw your tail like this. To show you the tail club. Some people draw it differently, but I tend to draw it like this. Large ball on one end, another large ball on this end, and two smaller on this. Then you can just draw it with little dents and stuff like that. Okay. Now, this is your basic outline for the Ankylosaurus. Now we're going to draw some of the smaller details. Draw its beak, its mouth. Now, the armor for the Ankylosaurus is very important. And to start it off, you can probably draw it right from the mouth, over the back of the head. Make sure you cover the top, and then once the tail comes, just cover the rest of it up. There, and that's basically what you're going to want the armor to look like. Now, Ankylosaurus uh, had a lot of spikes and bony plates, so you have two spikes there, another two spikes down here. Draw the eye, nostril. Now, make sure you draw the entire top of the of the head like this, with bony skull plates, because that's what it would have had. But then further down here. Draw sort of a segmented kind of look to it. Which are different segments to the dinosaur's armor plating. And there, just like that. Now on its shoulder, Ankylosaurus had two very large armor plates that looked like that. And then in the middle of the plates, just erase. Just erase whatever lines you have. All right, and then on the rest of it, just draw not quite spikes, because it didn't really have spikes on its back. It was just huge, bony lumps that were shaped sort of like that. Now along uh, this, you can also add more bony lumps. You can sort of make them sort of spiked. But Ankylosaurus, contrary to like what you normally see in pictures, it didn't have gigantic spikes. That was um, certain notosaurs like Sauropelta and other creatures like that. 
the club tails were more or less lumps of bone and notosaurs were spikes. So continue to draw armor. And then here on the stomach, you want to draw sort of a sack of skin. Remain ribs. Leg muscles. Neck muscles. And the toes. The other details on the legs. Okay, and just continue adding lumps of bone. I'll be back whenever I fill it out my. All right, there you go, all along the back. And if you'd like, on the bottom of the armor, you can draw spikes. All right, there's your outline for the Ankylosaurus, and now we're going to get to coloring it. All right, now the color scheme I've chosen for the Ankylosaurus is light green, pink, dark, dark blue. Actually, this is the pink. That's light brown and yellow, and it can be a brighter yellow, not necessarily a darker one. All right, now for the green, uh, you won't need green for much. Just the eye, which will kind of complement the other colors that we're putting on this. For pink, uh, add it for its nose. And that's it. And finally, the yellow, which will I'll use to color in all the spikes and bone plates, as long as the uh, as as well as the club tail itself. For the light brown, you're going to want to just go across the unarmored parts of the dinosaur. Okay, now the dark blue, you're going to go across the rest of the armor. Also, you can, uh, if you'd like, color over the yellow, although coloring around it is a little bit more time consuming. Choose whichever one you prefer. You're finished. And Kyla Sordas. Now you can color in your Ankylosaurus any way that you want. This is just a suggestion. Um, if you guys have any other um, any other ideas for dinosaurs that you would like me to draw, then just feel free to leave them in the comments box. If you enjoy the video, then leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.